now there is this warmer right here that i had to buy oh, okay this one let me tell you guys actually he could breastfeed uh for like one minute and then he could stop and this was disturbing me a lot because the baby is supposed to feed for like uh, after every three hours and they should eat between 45 ml ml to 90 ml of milk but my baby could just press feed for like one minute and then he stops and then he sleeps being a newborn and I the seat and then i have this uh nursing pillow so this is what happens i normally wear this pillow right here <laughs> friends how are you doing i hope that you're all doing good and keeping safe but do i feel like we are good friends you know my best day, uh, buddies and all <laughs> anyway guys what i'm trying to say is that i missed you so much so much so much so much that week looked longer like i was waiting for that day to come hi i hope that you missed me too if you're new here, my name is Sarajin Kashiri Muturi. Uh, feel free to join the family. I do motherhood content, lifestyle, self-care, faith-based content. Although it has been a while since I uploaded uh, some faith-based content here and there. But I will. Don't worry. Don't mind. I will. It is coming. Okay? I promise. So, as you can see on the title of today's video, today um, I'm going to be sharing with you... Um, some newborn essentials that I wish I had bought before delivery before delivery guys wait by the way some of these essentials I had to buy some of them while I was still at the hospital before discharge some I had to buy the same same day I was discharged and some I had to buy like two days after discharge and I learned the hard way so if you are on your journey to becoming a mom if you can please 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 buy these essentials they will really help you so before i do a very long introduction <laughs> by the way if you have not subscribed make sure that you subscribe to my youtube channel i'm on the road to 5000 subscribers right now we're at 3.66 so make sure that you subscribe become part of this family subscribing is free I like this video if you do that you help my channel to grow out there like youtube recommends it more to more people so subscribe 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 if this content is helpful to you okay actually let me count five seconds for you to subscribe five four <laughs> three two one i hope you have so, the very first newborn essential that I wish I had bought before delivery is this milk pump. Mm. It is this, guys. It's actually the very first one. This one I bought while I was still at the hospital before I was discharged. And I wish I had bought it earlier. So let me tell you why I had to buy this um, a breast pump before... I was even discharged so when I give birth to my son my baby is called light so you will hear me mention light here and there light means that um, he, he it, it is so prophetic let me explain to you guys it is so prophetic um, meaning that wherever he goes he shall always you know bring light to the people he shall be the light to the world and I pray that God will guide his ways so so what happened when i gave birth to my son baby light um 
hey guys i had a lot of milk i had a lot of milk and my baby could not like feed all of it you know actually he could breastfeed uh for like one minute and then he could stop and this was disturbing me a lot because the baby is supposed to feed for like uh, after every three hours and they should eat between 45 ml ml to 90 ml of milk but my baby could just press feed for like one minute and then he stops and then he sleeps being a newborn and i realized that he takes very short naps and then after waking up he would cry sometimes when giving him um when trying to breastfeed him he could take long 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 and longer to breastfeed and all this time he could cry so first of all before then that was not the main reason as to why i was buying this um pump because i knew that he will adapt along the way so my baby could not like feed from all the milk that i had and that was risky because someone can develop mastitis and the doctor was telling me that it the nurse was telling me that it can be very very painful mastitis is whereby you know, if you don't breastfeed the baby or if the baby doesn't like uh, feed from all the milk uh, the ducts block and uh, you de you develop a, a condition called mastitis and it hurts a lot so I had to buy pump and pump the milk out because my baby could not feed all of it and then i realized it's actually a better opportunity to feed the baby that milk because it's actually more you know the milk that you pump from in there guys it is so fatty which is so healthy for the baby um comparing to the milk that he sucks for that one minute which is it is called for milk which is so watery and um it's not even fatty and I realized that I realized that that might be one of the reasons as to why the baby cry a lot, because I remember for the first like one two days my baby could cry. I think he could get hungry. Then I just feed him, and he could feed for one minute or even seconds, and then he sleeps. So when he wakes up, he's so hungry. Before he sleeps, he's so hungry. So I had to get this milk pump to pump the milk out so that i could not develop mastitis and uh sometimes even <laughs> the milk could come out and it could be messy let me tell you guys even the breast pads that i bought they could not like soak the milk the first day was actually quite messy but thank god that um i was able to buy this milk bar it is electric and it has been superb it has been sorting me because i'm even able to pump more milk and uh, the baby is also able to bond with dad and uh, even my help because sometimes they help me feed him at night my husband helps me to feed him so i am um, i don't have to stay awake the whole night to breastfeed you know so my husband helps me to feed um, the baby uh, sometimes my nanny helps me to feed the baby so he bonds with everyone and I'm also able to rest here and there so this one is a very fast essential before you buy anything else this one consider it because it will even relieve you you know because you don't have to uh, to you don't have to stay awake 24 hours breastfeeding the baby will be able to pump and if you have help or your spouse or friends or anyone around they will be able to bond with the baby as they feed the baby the milk that you have pumped okay so let me tell you so i went online to look for a pump and uh, there is this pump there is so let me tell you it is a manual one guys don't buy manual pump because this brand is the lancino one very expensive this pump costed uh we bought it at around 5700 and this one was like 3500 so the manual one was quite expensive than this it was more expensive than this but guys the work that you do to pump it is a lot and it is a lot of work just pumping eh, it is a lot of work guys so the first day my husband uh, bought this one for me and i'm the one who recommended it and then i realized guys you take like a whole hour trying to pump so the you you catch the rhythm <laughs> You have stayed there for like a whole 30 minutes trying to pump and before you get like your 
feeding bottle, you know, getting full, you take a lot of time. This one, you just put, you, you just place it there and automatically it starts pumping without having to pump manually. So I would recommend electric pump over any other pump. That is over the manual one. Okay guys, so now that we are talking about this pump, another essential that I wish I had bought before delivery is this. It is called Hacker. So the purpose of this is to, let me open it, is to collect milk on this other end as you pump. Now, I didn't, being a first time mom, I didn't know that if you're pumping milk on this other end, you're also stimulating the other breast. And I also didn't know if the baby is breastfeeding directly from this uh, breast, also this other end is stimulated automatically, so the milk will come out. So my experience was, as I was breastfeeding my baby on this end, the other end could just flow. <laughs> so assume I'm wearing a t-shirt or this top. I'm breastfeeding the baby on this end, this other end will be completely wet. Mm. I'm telling you guys, it will be completely wet. Even if you have that maternity uh, bra or the the pad, the breast pad, it won't even help. Mine was not even helping. So I realized with this hacker, as the baby feeds, if my son is breastfeeding directly, then you collect milk on this other end and it will sort you a lot of mess looking looking i don't even know i don't have the right word to use so this hacker is a very essential component if actually you're breastfeeding directly or if you're pumping you collect the other side because if you're breastfeeding on this end this other one will have will be stimulated and milk will come out if you're pumping on this end the other breast will be stimulated and milk will come out so plus you're also able to collect more milk and store it for your baby like feed for me i have not started uh, storing the milk in the freezer and all using the fridge bags because i feel like i'm always at home on daily basis why should i use like the milk that has been stored in the freezer and fridge so if i'm pumping i'm pumping the milk to be used for the next four hours so i'm always pumping after like every three hours it's a routine that i have because I need to pump and also my baby needs to feed. And I realized, guys, that if you feed your baby well, after every three hours, they take longer naps. They don't cry because they are full. And again, um, they become happy and peaceful. Like, you will not be spending more time with your baby crying and crying and crying. Instead, you will just be having some cozy time with him or her you know so yeah i pump and collect on the other end with this then store the milk so let me tell you guys the fact that i don't store the milk in the fridge or freezer i also don't store the milk that i have pumped or collected um, under the room temperature because if it gets cold the milk will be cold and it is not good to to feed the baby cold food let me show you or oh, cold milk i'm calling it food because it is a real whole meal for the baby uh there is this warmer right here that i had to buy okay this one let me tell you guys before i move on from the pumps you see my very first week after i was discharged from the hospital the fact that i had cs i really needed a kid to, to rest i needed to rest and my husband really helped me to take care of the baby together with the nanny so please 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 buy a pump pump that milk and you will be helped by the people that you have to offer help to you to take care of the baby you will not like get Ticked, you know that you have to imagine if the baby is waking up to, uh, is waking up after every three hours so imagine breastfeeding breastfeeding sometimes is tiring like it is a lot of work sometimes the baby is not cooperating you know hey it is a lot of work so please get a pump please get a pump so that uh, you will even be able to get help so after pumping the milk for the for use you know we were told that the milk that you have pumped that you need to store it for 
the baby can use it for the next six to eight hours for me i like to work with five hours if the milk is past five hours i don't use it so i had to buy this warmer this warmer doesn't like increase the temperature for the milk or lower the temperature it maintains so i will pump store it here and it will maintain the warmth so the baby will take the milk uh, at the right temperature not too hot not cold just the way i pumped from the body so this is how it looks this is how it looks this is how it looks um <laughs> don't mind i still have some feeding bottles right here and i even have milk that i just pumped like one hour ago so that's how it looks like sorry that's how it looks like i hope you're able to see it has like two space so you just put it right here the way it has been made it maintains the warmth then you close it and close it and that's how i store the milk so this was a very 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 great essential that i had to buy for the purpose of storing the milk uh, at the right temperature so that the baby doesn't get cold because of feeding him or him with cold milk if it gets cold you see if you store it at the room temperature if it is cold the milk will get cold especially at night i bought this at 1500 you guys <laughs> it really helped me this hacker i bought at 700 it was i think it is good to mention the prices so in case you're you're planning to buy all these essentials that i will show you i bought from kes baby shop and i thank you kes for sponsoring today's video i have been working with them and they are fabulous they are fabulous guys more content coming so something else that I had to buy is an anti-colic feeding bottle now guys if you're pumping milk <laughs> you need anti-colic feeding bottle okay I bought just two because they are quite pricey they are quite pricey don't you'd rather invest on anti-colic uh, breastfeeding bottle because uh, they don't they are good they are anti-colic like the baby doesn't get gas in the stomach which makes them to cry a lot or become uncomfortable the baby is fussy now and then you know just buy the anti-colic one it's quite pricey you know you can get any feeding bottle at 50 bob at 200 but the anti-colic one you can even buy at 1500 at a thousand bob for me i bought the lancino one that uh, is anti-colic and let me tell you even as you feed the baby you will see the bubbles at the at the bottom as you feed the baby because it is filtering out all the gas in the bottle and the baby feeds the milk without the gas and that means that they will not get gas and that means that they will not become uncomfortable and they will not be crying now and then because of being uncomfortable and less fussy that they will become so I had to buy um, anti-colic feeding bottles. We're done with the warmer and the feeding bottles. Something else that I had to buy is this uh, white noise <laughs> sound machine. Let me tell you guys, this thing plays some you see when you're carrying the baby at the stomach <laughs> guys am i even overdoing i'm not even overdoing let me tell you why you see right now i'm at the baby's nursery and my baby started sleeping in his own bedroom from day one from day one guys like this is his bed he has been using this bed always every day not like always every night during the day sometimes i have a baby nest that we normally use at the couch sometimes we are in my bedroom you know during the day we normally have a routine and activities but at night he sleeps here his bed so babies become so much fussy especially the newborns sometimes you will see them throwing hands everywhere and they have woken up 
sometimes they will dream of them crying in the process they throw eggs and hands and they cry so or sometimes when the atmosphere is so silent they tend to wake up like if they hear some little noise they are awake so i realized that uh, i actually did my own research at the stomach there is this noise that is normally there some shh, something like that but it's so cool and um, very quiet and calming but they have also been trying to use this uh, machine and i have been having longer naps and you, like you sleep so well it's so peaceful you know so i bought this from um jumia by the way there are so many some are so expensive some are cheap i just bought a very cheap one because for me it just needed that white noise it is called white noise because that's the noise that they will be here at the stomach so when you play this for them you just pray for a few minutes before they sleep so like my night routine i normally wash the baby feed him and then i expect him to sleep so that we meet after three hours for another feed sometimes you realize that the baby will sleep for only one hour and then they wake up sometimes they struggle to sleep because of being fussy you will hear them you know uh maybe giving you some funny noise like <laughs> you see <laughs> something like that and it is normal so when you play this white noise for them they calm down with that rhythm the noise and they are so familiar with that it is called white noise with that white noise and then they sleep they sleep so well even after those three hours i have to change my baby diaper so that he wakes up then feeds again then i have to bump him then he continue with sleeping so white noise if you can please do even if the baby is sleeping in your room and they cry a lot in the room please buy this machine it really helps buy it from jumia just type white noise machine some are 1500 some are 2k some are 6k i just bought a 1500 one and it is helping me a lot i don't need an expensive one 1500 is really is really sorting me another newborn essential that i had to buy immediately like i wish i had bought earlier before delivery is this um is this heater you see this heater guys hey <laughs> let me tell you something so after i was discharged two days later my sister-in-law called me she called me so she was checking up on me mama Masi, if you're watching this video shout out hi so she called me she was like hey have you been washing the baby and all or you're just wiping let me tell you something guys like shame on me i had not washed the baby like the day we were discharged from the hospital the kids were washed at the hospital for me i came home with a newborn first day i have not wiped i have not washed second day i have not wiped i have not washed why because i was like it is so cold you know and then, and then i remembered we were told that children or kids or newborns don't have characteristics of an egg like they're not that fragile so my sister-in-law checked up on me and she was like have you been washing the baby have you been wiping i did not even say anything before I, I i think i said i have not been washing so she assumed that i was uh wiping the baby but <laughs> quite ground i had not wiped the baby i had not washed the baby so she advised me that if i can the best thing to do is first of all to prepare everything so that the baby doesn't feel the cold then wash them quickly and then just prepare even the clothes to you to dress the baby after so everything should be ready then wash the baby and then she told me something else that you can do is get a heater a heater a heater get a heater preheat the room before make that atmosphere warm wash the baby and then after just put it off and then maintain that warmth during that time that you're washing the baby and that's what we have been doing hey guys for the last one month since that 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 day my baby has been taking shower on daily basis on daily basis only one day that i didn't wash him and it is because i was not feeling well i was tired and hubby was not around and yes i said he will shower tomorrow so only one day all these other days every day he has to 
take shower. And let me tell you guys, shower really helps the babies to sleep so well. For me, I have uh, set my routine to be at between eight to nine. Why? Between eight to nine, I feed the uh, I feed the baby after, and then the baby sleeps. So during the night, the baby will have a very peaceful sleep because they are so warm after taking shower. They are so fresh, very comfortable and fresh, you know, and they are able to sleep. Most of the time, I'm the one who normally come here to change my baby diaper. And then after changing the diaper, definitely he will wake up. And sometimes he refuses to wake up. So I make him to wake up so that he can feed and continue with his naps. I have to do it like in my routine. I normally, after feeding at 9, I will do it at 12. Then at 3, the other one at around 5. And that's it. And it is not because the baby is crying. He doesn't feed because he is crying. It is because it, I, I won't feed him after every three hours as a parent. So I had to get this heater. I wish I had bought it earlier, but I had to buy it immediately so that I can start washing the baby. I just wanted to be in peace because what? Kwanza, my sister-in-law told me that for her, she, when she, she has four children, for all the kids, she could wash them like on daily basis one and then i was like what am i doing what am i doing with my life i have not washed the baby i have not even wiped the baby so i had to so shout out to you mama Masi, if you're watching this video <laughs> by the way i got the heater <laughs> she recommended it and i got it thank you i bought it at 2500 not an expensive one from Gigi. so you can check if it is really necessary to you get it what else did I buy? Ah, this thermos is right here because I normally love to keep some tea in the nursery because of breastfeeding and pumping. So, you guys, before I got a baby, we were just me and my husband. Who keeps tea in thermos like you guys? Like, sometimes we, we were not even cooking tea because we are just two. Right now, I got a baby. <laughs> and I drink a lot of tea, especially at night and during the day. So I had to get myself a thermos. I have another one, very small, but it makes the tea to be cold after, after some time. So I had to get this one. I think I, uh, my hubby got it from Naivas at around 1500. It is not a newborn essential, but it is an essential to me. I really like it. I really like it. So the next newborn essential that I had to buy immediately. Okay, it was in the process of making, but let me show you. It is this seed, guys. Hey, you see this seed? Wow, 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 wow. It really helps me. It is a nursing seed. So I didn't have to think about it like immediately, immediately after delivery. It is something that... Um, we had already uh, started to custom make from a certain fundi. <laughs> we thought of it together with Harvey, and uh, so it had to come immediately. Let me tell you guys, and it has really been helping me, especially when breastfeeding the baby. So I have like a small pillow right here. The seat, and then I have this uh, nursing pillow. So this is what happens. I normally wear this pillow right here, lean on this seat like this, and then hold the baby, feed the baby if I'm feeding the baby, or if I am breastfeeding, just breastfeed the baby effortlessly. That's it guys. I'm really enjoying motherhood. I thank God because I don't take these things on a light note. It is a huge blessing. It is a very huge favor. And I thank God for that yeah so that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching uh thank you so much for watching if you have not give uh liked this video give give it thumbs up once you like guys the youtube is uh normally able to recommend it to more people it is suggested to more people hence more views if you subscribe also the channel is uh, recommended to so many people so can you subscribe if this video has been of great help also share with uh, your friends and i hope that you get inspired so thank you so much for watching and until next time
bye bye love you